God damn your juice, bro. Mm. Mm -hmm. What you hitting that thing for? How much you hitting that thing for? Uh, yo, yo, we gotta kill this guy. Everybody, everybody gang up on this guy. He's juiced. The Lord. He's giga fire. <laughs> This guy says, hey man, I'm the warlock in the clip. I wasn't teaming with the ranger. I told him to shoot you and then kill them immediately. Dude, that was a very, very good fight. This is a very unpopular opinion. I think many of you will disagree with me on this. 
But I think teaming is totally fine. Even in solo queue, I think it's totally fine. The reason I run ruins so I can prepare for teaming in high roller. I genuinely think getting teamed on is a very good learning experience. It really helps you become a better player. I think the reason why I have such a positive outlook on teaming is because I can win fights with people gang up on me and they're teaming on me. So, that, you know, as soon as you can do that, you're going to start to see like, oh, uh, people teaming on me, it's actually making me a better player. If you look at it like that, instead of, oh, it's unfair, you know, they're killing me and they're on a team and they're teaming in freaking solo goblin caves. If you look at it like that, of course, you're going to hate it. Even if you die many, many times from teaming and you just win one fight, you're going to you're going to enjoy it because you're just like, dude, I just killed these people who were teaming on me. Aside from that, if anyone thinks teaming is a problem, I, I just don't see how Iron Mace is going to be able to moderate this issue. Until they do find a way to moderate it, I think it's best to learn how to win those fights.
So I saw this best in slot tunic, and I really think that this tunic can sell for more than 400 gold. This guy was offering 400. The reason why it's not selling now is because of the freaking market. The market is uh, dead right now because it's only like three days into the wipe. But if I'm only getting this for 400, I believe I could probably get like a thousand, maybe even a key for it. So we're gonna do an experiment. I'm just gonna hold on to this for like a couple weeks. And I'm gonna see if I can get a key for it later on, or at least like a thousand gold or something. Make a make a huge profit there. I tried reselling it at like 800, it wasn't going. Tried 700, wasn't going. For this patch, this pad of tunic is extremely BIS. I haven't been finding any pad of tunics that have weapon damage on them. So I'm assuming armor rating, max health, damage bonus, stuff like that is probably BIS this patch. Another thing is I haven't been finding any rings that have been weapon damage at all. But I specify weapon damage add, I can't find find any rings that have weapon damage. I think best in slot for this patch will probably be armor rating, physical damage bonuses, max health bonuses, stuff like that. For sure weapon damage on whatever items have weapon damage, I don't even know. Frankly, I haven't even seen a weapon damage item yet in my three days of playing in the new wipe. I've been seeing a lot more damage bonus and armor rating. Actually, I have seen a weapon damage uh, lantern. As far as weapon damage on armor, I have not seen it at all. Prediction so far is the market's going to be this slow for about a week, maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Then it's going to start speeding up again like how it was. So right now, what you can do is buy BIS items for three, 400 gold. You can save them in your inventory. And when the game starts getting more fired up, you can resell them for keys. So you can resell them for 1250 gold. So that's what I'm doing with this pad of tunic here. We're going to give it an experiment. I'm going to hold on to this for a few weeks and we're going to see if we can get a key out of it later once everybody's rich.